Let's talk Supergirl. Uh, Once again, we, we're stuck with another film that I've not thought a synopsis for because there's just no point. Here's the yeah. synopsis. Uh, Supergirl comes to the planet Earth somehow, doesn't really make sense, then comes out of a water wearing a costume because there was enough. There was a lot of biblical stuff imagery in this. We'll get to that in a minute. <coughs> and then at the end, she, she just wants to find this power orb thing, but some witch wants to stop her. And then at the end, she gets the power orb. And I don't understand the ending. She just jumps in the water. That's the end. Um, did anybody else notice that, like, she totally gave birth to something at the start? Like, she made this, we'll get into how, but she drew this, like, <laughs> dragonfly, and, like, she's what sitting there with, like, the birth leg open position and everything, oh, yeah. and she, the imagery was just off the chart. I just, absolutely. I would rather, can I just watch Hentai while you guys talk about this movie? I mean, well, you I'm were, not, like, at the start, with, uh, Zoltar's wand of Zoltar, power. Zoltar's amazing, jizzy, firing wand. And his balls. <laughs> Why Why the windows on oh. this Krypton outpost? Which, by the way, had Krypton exploded by this point? I couldn't really yeah, understand. Yeah, this that. was... Oh, no, why did it only have Glad Rat? Oh, Andrea, uh, like, everybody Argonian. knows that they've sent Clark or Kal-El away, but they're all okay. Maybe kal way. was just a douche kid. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. He was, he was like, just he's a, a prick. Just they get couldn't, rid of him. Like, brother seems like a bit of a tool. And, and because and because they oh, don't wow. have coat hangers on Krypton, they had to give birth to him, and they just sent him away. Boom! Wow! There, so the, Krypton's the, Krypton's in verse mode. The <laughs> only tie to Superman in this is the fact that they say that he's her cousin. That's yeah. the only tie. And he looks at her. He looks at the. She looks at the photo and is all like, "Wow." He looks at the photograph. Yeah, it's, every time it it's not a laugh. picture frame though. It's just put tacked to the wall with some blue tack. Uh, so, yeah, can anybody explain the ending of this film to me? What I don't get, no. what the, I no. don't, I don't understand. So, she gets the orb thing back, and then just jumps in the water. She's like, oh, I need to take like this crazy. back. Like, but where? She, this oh. The place she's gone is gone. Why is how she taking it out of the water? Got this Why did that orb even underwater? make it to Earth? Look at that. How did that orb get to Earth? Don't it flew out the window. Yeah, it's went out the window and just landed on Earth. Well, she flew out the window and she landed on Earth. Everything Boom. lands on Earth from Krypton. <laughs> Krypton is literally, you know, the highway that avoids Mo. It's the same thing. Krypton's at one end, Earth is at the other. <laughs> or maybe this is a, a, a bit of uh, Krypton rock that people survived the explosion and travelled through space and landed in the ocean and and. and so theoretically, I could just get like this stubby holder and just, and, at the end of that. and just throw it out the door, and it would land in Krypton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do it. Krypton. No, but I'm thinking Krypton just, was the, just like I can put my drink in. on the dog's like, gonna eat my stubby that, holder. That that, uh, that really good looking bloke in Mo just gave me a free. See, what, I reckon what my happened is it probably it. went in, bounced off this one bloke with like this this goatee beard thing happening, right? Bounced off his head into another bloke. And so face. the guy picked it up and he was like, hey, I'm going to keep this. And then the guy with the beard was all like, he was like, where'd that come from? And the guy was like, I think it came from some bloke in Mo. And the guy with the beard was like, I will find him. <laughs> I will return the holder. It took a long setup to get there, but I feel it was worth it. Nice. Yeah. In fact, I would have rather watched that movie. You just want me to show you that smile again. I'll tell you <laughs> what. <laughs> Uh, this movie was budgeted to make uh, 35 million. Uh-huh. It made a uh, measly 15 or oh, 14 and a half. Let's be real. This was made by the exact same people who made Superman 4 like a year later. Was it? Or was it a year before? So, it might so have been a year before. Was this linked to the? Was this list linked to the um, Christopher Reeves Superman universe? Yeah. Yes. Well, he was yeah. Superman in the picture that she looks at on the yeah, wall. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Um, it's it was made by the same people who made Superman Four, the Scarlands and the Canon Film Company. Mm. The douchebags. Which went belly up, I hope. I well, I, did. So, I was so I was Krypton intact. Superman Four, in fact, came out three years after this. So this was their this was their prototype for Superman. They should have stopped. So, yeah. No means no. Why was, why was Krypton still intact? I don't know. I don't, that wasn't Krypton, as they say. That was some other subsidiary. Uh, Brony, this okay. came out the year after Superman 3. Uh, so they're riding that Richard Pryor wave of success. I don't get it. I just don't understand. I just... um, why does Supergirl have more powers than Superman? Like I don't know. She can just change her clothes like that. Because feminism and hair. And hair. And because she can get big metal poles and get them to conduct electricity and then shoot that electricity out again. Oh. And feminism. Monster. 
That's what it is. And the biblical demon that grew out of an iron case into some sort of dragon with boobs. I did like the fact that apparently every incarnation of Supergirl requires Jimmy Olsen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta have Jimmy. Jimmy. Because he has bad ideas. Jimmy. That's brilliant. Jimmy. <laughs> Just didn't... <laughs> Christ. Just didn't get it. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know what to say about this film, really. It's... And the love story. I don't know. Oh, God, yeah, but you know what? It... Still a better love story than Elicity. That is true. I believed it more. The actors had more chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> a drug that, that would dude explain gets, Elicity. No, that well. dude straight out gets a Brayden Hare Award. <laughs> really? He, For handsomeness? He was like 40, and oh, he like just Ray opens Ray. his eyes oh, yeah, and sees oh, this cool girl, and he's like, I love you. There's a better Braden Hare award in that film, man. It goes to the two guys who actually try to rape her. The fuck was this <laughs> film? Two guys try to rape yeah. her. Just because that's how they... That's just what I we think do. that's got to happen in every Supergirl film, too. That happened in the... Um, yeah, Batman that's Super- true. What the Apocalypse. fuck? Yeah, yeah, it happened in Apocalypse. It's it's too. Right. It'll probably happen in the next Super... In the Supergirl TV show around episode three. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. it's like, like in uh, Flash, the, the dude tried to mug him. It was just like, you picked the wrong day, mate. Yeah. They're just gonna right. like, yeah, that's gonna rape you. Yeah, and mm-hmm. she's gonna be like, no they just, means. they should, you know what, you know what, they went about it wrong. If they'd have walked up to her and been like, hey, show me that smile again, show me that smile, she would have been like, oh, yeah, okay. Which smile? Or draw that dragonfly again for me. That'd, that'd be great. <laughs> the superhero just... costume is pretty nice. That's about it. That's, that's really all I got. What was the point in this movie when yeah, she was sitting in the bedroom with Lucy Lane and she was putting the bra on and stuff in it? And uh, I think that's meant to be a reference to the book Puberty Blues, I think. But I don't know. Right. No, I'd say it's more just that's what... The girl she's was. meant to be a teenage girl coming of age. So and that's what teenage girls do where they're like... Is this and what she it's falls like? in love with a 40-year-old dude. Yeah. yeah, that's what teenagers do. Well, she's 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 Kryptonese, so maybe their fifteen is like forty. Maybe she. Mind you, she's also in love with hundred and fifty year old Zoltar by the looks of it. Well, yeah. clearly had a creepy uncle vibe. That guy also has a Braden hair award coming to him. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Absolutely. This movie has more Braden hair than anything else. Oh, it's got yeah. more Braden hair awards than Braden has hair. Yeah, you, yeah. Weirdly, what's weird about this film is it's filled with so many a list stars like. Peter O'Toole and Peter Cook and oh. Faye Dunaway and you're like, how is this film this how terrible? You fuck out so how is this bad? so bad? Peter O'Toole, Lawrence of Arabia. Peter O'Toole, why did you accept to do this piece? Of Hit shit? my soundbite, Matt. If it's there, please. Money, Peter O'Toole. please. Money, oh, money, 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 money. This one. This out on you. This out on your cow. Exactly. And even. All right, that's it. This honor. This honor on your whole family. Yep. Yeah. You're not wrong, Eddie. You're not wrong. Just, I don't understand. I would rate this this movie one big fat J-Lo fart. <laughs> <laughs> Sprayed my screen. Oops. If you need a soundbite. <laughs> Missed it. Missed it. I, I've actually got a little soundbite for, for something that I think um, captures my feelings. Mm-hmm. This is from the... Uh, Richard, is it Richard Hamill from Top Gear? Hammond. Oh, Hamster. Hammond, yeah. Richard Hammond. Hammond. Richard Hammond. What the fucking hell are you, you great gangly fuck knuckle twat, greasy head cuntbag? Fuck you! <laughs> Where the fuck was that from? It's from Top Gear. <laughs> it's from Top Gear. He was actually writing a. He was writing a uh, push bike. Oh, that's right. You just got the uncensored version. The, nice. the, the dude cut him off. Yeah, yeah, I remember the episode now. I just haven't heard the uncensored one. I only heard the beeped out BBC <laughs> version one. That's great. Nice. We need to use that more. I, just, I don't... I can't even... I am essentially a teenage girl when it comes to this movie. Um, oh, okay. So, I did mention that I'll be using the whiteboard in this. Ooh. So, here it comes. Ooh. Whip it out. I, um... <laughs> I especially liked. Ba doom ba I like how that, I've got uh, another smelly for to, you. According to Zoltar's physics. Yes, physics. Physics. This Welcome is awesome. to the science corner this of is, the this is, this is awesome because this is apparently. This is awesome. Quant- this is awesome. That is a quantum vortex. That's that's a spiral. No, 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 no! Don't you, don't you swear at me that. Okay. Peter O'Toole told me that that's a quantum vortex. Okay. Because apparently those two align somewhere 
right. somewhere, and that if you if you don't make it through here, you'll become what was it he used? He used a stupid word. It was um, pudding. No. Dead. Oh fuck! I can't even think of the word now. Damn it. Obliterated. No, no, you Raked. become smushed. That, that was just a given. Oh, it was going to happen. Up. Either way, you become, become a prey no a singularity. Apparently, a that if you fuck up this, you become a singularity here somewhere. Yeah. Cool. What? And there's also this this one bit of physics. You remember that scene after Peter O'Toole falls down? And apparently, then Supergirl, Supergirl gets the powers to rise above the, the blah, quantum blah, blah. vortex and, I and the power. break through. The power. So here's here's what I'm gathering. It's right? a new day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm this not is, in my computer to press that. This is Supergirl here with the kilt. Yes, with Very the kilt. Good. Yeah, whatever. Good. Cut anyway, the legs. Peter O'Toole's down here somewhere and dead, looking up a skirt. Good. Um. But, okay, so there is a hole here that they're climbing towards. Uh huh. At this point where he falls over, is apparently she can stand up, like so, yes. and then fly through the hole. Which actually becomes a window. Becomes a mirror. Oh, that's right, it becomes a mirror. you ah, labyrinth. Alrighty then. Thank you, Adam. Perfectly <laughs> said. So. <laughs> I don't. S G. Oh. Fucking. S G Physics. 101. Well, I actually. Uh, I need to step in here because I, I too need the whiteboard for a moment. The only way you could make. That's a good name. The only way you could make it more trendy is spell girl with a URL. Or have a theme song. Or. <laughs> <laughs> That's. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just. For those of you listening at home, it's called hashtag stupid girl revolution. It's. I. I just. I fell asleep watching this last night, and I was. This is this movie goes for two hours. Yeah, no, it doesn't, mate. It goes for an hour, an hour and forty minutes. <laughs> Alright, sorry. But it, it was about, I think it was 40. from memory, yeah. before Supergirl, actually, the first thing Supergirl actually does that's superhero like at all is stop a fucking tractor. Yep. And that was about 57 minutes into the movie. And then she didn't really stop it, she just pulled the fucking uh, handbrake. No, no, she pulled the. the, the she pulled the, the scoop front. off it. Oh, that's right. And then it crashed into a building, and the building. Yeah, she let it. Lucy to die. <laughs> yeah. Well, she went and saved her pedo lover. Yeah. He's a pet of love. Alright. Yeah, I want out. I'm done. I'm off this ride. Oh. Krusty wants out. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Alright, let's... let's Code hanging me out of here. Let's, let, that's going to be the, the... We're under 20 minutes. That's the shortest one I think we've ever done. Yep. Um, I so no I think we've got a dust off an old one we haven't done in a long time. Oh, Do God. you recommend people watching this? No. no. Fuck no. Avoid. Unless. I, unless recommend, I recommend people scratching their eyes with nails before watching this. Un Watch with bleach. Yeah. Unless, I mean, if you're captured by the North Koreans and you have a copy of this, watch it. And if then you have a die. copy of this, they'll probably be amazed because they'll be like, wow, the technology. But wow, that's Kim Jong Un. Oh, there, I, there, is one, there is one special effect in this I have to call out. And it's where Kara is meant to be getting squashed by a giant hand thing. And the way oh. they did that was blue screen her <laughs> twisting, but the hand is in the background closing, so she's in front like this. And I like how she um, she actually she was facing this way, so her head's over here and legs are over here. And then in the next scene, she's like... Yeah, it was yeah. pretty bad. And they had the nice blue hue around her hair. <laughs> she can't! It was terrible. So, who are you giving that you're barbarous to, gentlemen? Everything. Yep. Everything everybody. gets everything negative that we can give out. Except I do have a Cranston. The fuck oh. is wrong with you? I have a Cranston. Christopher Reeves, because there was a picture of him. 
Is it? Was it framed? Actually, no, 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 it wasn't framed. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give uh, Christopher Reeves a uh, a, a Cranston for this, and not for your reasons. <laughs> it's because he he was uh, supposed to do a cameo in this movie, and just before they did started filming, he was like, "No, nah, I'm out. I'm out." Yeah, he was. He had to go away and watch. Uh, watch. He had to go away and work on Superman Four. Better the, film, better film than this. It, not by much. Not my much, but it was better. But that's also yeah. like saying Ebola based okay, sorry, off the I'm, like I'm sorry, things to make you bleed got, out the ass. You've yeah. got a three way <laughs> love story between the two chick villains who mm-hmm. want to bang the 40 year pedo who's after. The 40 year pedo. Um, that was a, the much anticipated sequel to 40 year old virgin. Yeah, it's critically underwhelming. <laughs> anyway, so you, you've got those two bitches after the 40 year old. So you got. The, the two bitches that are still after the 40 year old pedo yep. who's after Supergirl yep. Yep. Um, then you've got some sort of biblical demonic entity An coming invisible from the Gold ball Gunson. who was given to <laughs> who who, uh, who it's true. Zoltar stole the ball from the Kryptonians who also has a like rapey behaviour love mm-hmm. for Supergirl or Kara mm-hmm so you've got a five-way pedo banger ho. Five-way, 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 five-way. You can't gonna, see. You're gonna. In, you can't see gonna, them coming. In, like, give me infringement soon on somebody if you keep that sort of shit up. He gets mad. Um, no, Dan took it. So yeah, you got yeah, that. Then you've got this this stupid uh, witchcraft bullshit. So you got the craft, <laughs> the exorcist, um, and some sort of. You know, a fifty-year-old um, lemon party porn. Yeah, <laughs> crammed into one movie. He's that not leaves, wrong. Leaves nah. a really, really sour taste in your mouth. A well, lemon party would. <laughs> what was the motive behind the witch? She wanted what to rule the world. She said she that. Just wanted, she, she wanted to she just want power. Power. I think the unlimited. Oh, Power! I think is the case. Unlimited cosmic power. Any bit of leaving space. <laughs> it's yeah. The the bump cast. What the fuck was thing. with their wand thing? It was like no, that. Oh no, that was the other movie that was referenced. Like to. a it feather was, duster. It was from the Dark Crystal. Oh, leave the Dark the Crystal alone. Fucking Skeksis alive. bloody broom. But yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I love how they're like, let's make a, a female villain, but give her a feather duster. Yeah, because it was still the early 80s, <laughs> and they know like, their place. I've also forgotten one other love triangle to add to this. Oh, good. Is, is Peter Cook with uh, yeah. with the, the, the other bitch, too, that left him as soon as she found the ball. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of... There's a lot of friends that don't go up. anywhere in this film. Tenuous. <laughs> Alright, so, Barbara's. It's hard. Like I said, everyone. I'm giving mine to the principal of the school that she goes to. Because he was the most useless of all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the most useless of them all? That guy. There's also... (laughs) And the dude's also the fucking math teacher in this movie. Like, I can't believe how much intertwined bullshit that happens in this fucking steaming pile of fucking donkey turd. It's just like, oh, let's just put a twist in here, and then he can go there, and then no, he can fuck her, and then no, no, he's gonna fuck her, but she wants him. Fuck off. Wow, Matt broke there. Mm-hmm. Supergirl broke Matt in ways we never could. So nobody's got any, uh, any crannies, any Barbaras, nothing. No. Nobody else. Everyone. Everything. Everything's bad about. And us. yeah, Cranston goes Christopher Reeves because of the picture. Oh, that's my, right, Matt gave him one for not being. My crest in it. Oh, you, you just don't like this movie, Brayden, because it has Jimmy Olsen in it. You don't, you're hated Jimmy Olsen. My crest does, does, does go to Supergirl because she is like she's dumb, but she's at least somewhat strong and useful. She's the only useful character in the film. Yeah, but she can't. Even. She can't. Even. I Even. Can't. Do you say well, I want to know. I want to know yeah. why, at the end, when she came in thing. to sort of save the day, she just stood there and took the shit for like ten minutes before she 
did a little tornado <gasps> thing, she could have just done right. Oh, it's that! She shrunk down to this big in that scene, yeah. too. So she's yeah. also Ant-Man? <laughs> so, like, and I, I don't get that. Like, she's on these, these disc plates that are moving that's clearly got some sort of red danger she, underneath. She can just fly. Hover. She doesn't even need to fly. Just hover. Just be like, bitch, what do you got? This is fucking stupid. That's hard. It is literally the most... It's... Gloves? It owes me gloves. I'm, yeah, I'm giving this inverse 16 gloves. <laughs> <laughs> it owes That's me an hour specific. 40 worth of gloves. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not even worth trying to sue them for the gloves. <laughs> not even in class action? No. Yeah, no, right. Giving it a glove. Just one. No, no, not the song, it doesn't deserve the song, but it's just get one glove. Yeah. It's a pretty risky business giving it one glove. Talk to me, gentlemen, and tell me, have you thought about which superhero you would be and who your sidekicks for real life would be? The problem I have is I can think of, like, the the superheroes I'd want to be, but I don't see, I don't know of any of the, the sidekicks that they would have. Well, maybe we can help you. Well, what hero do you think you'd be, then? Punisher. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you're, you're a solo <laughs> man, that's the thing, that's the problem. Oh, hang on, no, no, I'll, I'll get you that. So if we're talking within the confines of this cave, obviously. Yep. Um, Mrs. and children are still alive. Doesn't count. I understand the law, and I'm disabled. Daredevil. Cool. <laughs> um, Bren's, Bren's pretty good to look at, and he seems like he's pretty strong and tough. So he'd be Gen uh, he'd be Luke Cage. Oh, okay. oh so yeah. you're going to Defenders? He'd yeah. be Luke Cage. Yeah. And then, uh, and then Terry, obviously, Terry's the distraction. He's the one you don't see coming. He's the one that you underestimate. Therefore, he's January Jones. <laughs> oh, Jessica Jones. Sorry, Jessica Jones. That's fair. That's fair. So that that would there solve it for you. Then you can still be the Punisher. Yeah, no. There you go. There you go. I like that. All right. What do you got, Braden? <laughs> A blank face. <laughs> he's still got brain aids from reviewing that thing. And this is worse than brain aids from reviewing. This is far worse than brain aids. It's like a tumor. This on is your nut. It's not a this tumor. Like. <laughs> My brain is imploded and is it's just AIDS left. It's just AIDS. It's not even brain. It's just AIDS. I had a theory as well that uh, I'm not going to call him out by actual name, but some of us know him. Our friend originated that his voice came from. I reckon he's patient zero for brain AIDS. He was the original. Yeah. You know how they talk about, like, did a dude fuck a monkey to get AIDS? It's like, who fucked him to bring about brain AIDS? Yeah, oh, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, sorry, Brian, uh, go ahead. I kind of want to go down there. I, I don't want a late jump, but I kind of want to go down the Batman track also. Uh, I'm going to go with the Mum Knight being my Alfred. Nice. As much as she fucking hates being called that. That's just why. Makes it That's because women hate being pointed out that their job is to clean. Yeah, obviously. Take and out phones and, and learn out how to make special intricate codes so that people who are in the house don't realise that our special yeah. red phone is wrong. Yeah, but I also have uh, my my two children. My I have my Dick Grayson, uh -huh. uh, which is your favourite, and my Damian Wayne, and which is the one you know about. Is which uh, I I the youngest one is the Damian Damian Wayne because he's a turd. <laughs> <laughs> Takes after you then. Uh, I'm I'm gonna uh, yeah. grab this audio. And, uh, and hang on, I got one more. I got one more. One more. I got my yeah. friendly companion. Oh, Jesus. Ace. My bat dog. I forgot what Batman's dog's name is. Ace. 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 Shit, Rick. He's fucking lazy. <laughs> He's getting old. How? Yeah, like two <laughs> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a new party. one. You live in a fucking space vortex or something where time travels faster. You mo. He's not time a Time hasn't travelled since 1947. No, he's in a quantum vortex. <laughs> yeah, he's become a singularity. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Into the into the nether mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of green goo. We didn't even go into that either. That's just. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna jump into the Flash universe. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd be the Flash though. I'm too fat. Uh oh. 
I'll go as Harrison well. Wells because he's always sitting down. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's actually a big call. Um, no, I was actually going to go Joe you're West. So slow. Okay, you're Joe I, West. I, I aspire to be a police officer. And black. And black. Uh, and so, you have to wear a beanie at any time of day like that and just know that it's bulletproof and you're going to be cool and warm. Exactly. Uh, I would probably put uh, Adam as Harrison Wells. <laughs> Because I'm disabled, you fucking typecast. That's prejudice. I was actually because you're intelligent and do do smart, ugly things. But that, hey, that's because fine. Because occasionally I move my foot really slowly. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, Matt's gonna be Cisco, the one who seems useless until he actually does something really, really cool, like electrify the Batcave. Okay, I was gonna ask for an example there. I'm glad you gave me one. Yeah, uh, and then because um, Grant Gustin is the, obviously the attractive, attractive one, Brain gets to be the Flash. <laughs> oh, that's that's nice. Right. I'm down with that, thanks. But you have to live with me for, for your formative years. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. so you may be in trouble. So you may have diabetes <laughs> by the end of it. Exactly. And gout. And gout. <laughs> and a gimpy leg. Or just a gimp's leg. A <laughs> gimp's leg. No, one of the many that you to kill. <laughs> ripped off one. Have you ever been so angry that you hit one gimp with another gimp? <laughs> Matt has. No, I just hit, it. I just hit the gimp. I yeah, and then scun him a lot. Yeah. Oh. Didn't even use the skin for a canoe. <laughs> what an idiot. Could have gone to Leanne Moo. Exactly. Or the taint butter, he could have had one. Alright, well, I think that brings us to the end for this night where we really got killed there by Supergirl, really took the mood. Yeah. She really killed I would rather have Brock Lesnar than diabetes. That. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely gave some brain aids. Derp. It hurt. Well, on that note, it's time to say goodnight. So on behalf of myself, Red Thunder Adam Gerard, and the Honey Badger Terry O'Neill. Bye. The Dad Night Bread in the Hand. Goodbye. And the Sponge Pro Matt Richens. See you guys. We'll see you all <laughs> next time. Who are you? I'm Batman. 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 Yes, I'm Batman. Telegram. I am Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. You sound like Cookie Monster. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Darling, I don't have to answer for you. I'm Batman. Cabana Production. <laughs>